Hi there, my name is Brighton of Africa, call Kobe Linguist. Today I want to talk about Sechi. Sechi Alive, life, probably on the guitar. So Sechi Alive guitar. Um, Sechi is from Kwao. Yeah, it's from the Kwao rhythm. So it's more than it's Kwao. Just that it's without a father. <laughs> so let's say, okay, maybe it, it has a little Amponsan in it. So maybe Amponsan can be the stepfather, but not really the father. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, what, what, I'm, what I meant is Sechi is from Kwao, as I said. Um, so just that the Sechi, with the Sechi, you can the Sechi is a medley, is a medley of Kwao. So let's say you can have from two, three, four songs, you know, with the same qual progression, but with different songs, you understand, different melodies. So a typical example of the Sechi is um, KJC Sechi Alive, which was popular in the 70s, and, um, from, uh, and also um, a young Kwesiwa group, their song called Kubi Awarie. And um uh, Canados Canados uh Aiko Do, one of my favorites. Um uh, um also Baxuma also have the Sechi called Mabo Bofu and Mabo. Um Nana Tufu also has a Sechi called uh Enemengo. There is a tons of it, so I'll just put the songs the 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 links of the songs on the description below. Um I want to dive in small with the Sechi. Um so maybe I'll think I'll take one example of uh, let's say example like the um, Aikodo, the Aikodo um, Sechi. It's it's basically the uh, the choir the choir progression as I said. But if you listen to the song, you will find out this is it's it's too long. It's a you know <laughs> different song with the Sechi you know with the choir. We are called progression, but with different songs. So the main thing to know is the song as a guitarist, because you majority of all the songs, um, you the guitarist call the call the melody before the you know the singers and then the other people come in. You understand? So as a guitarist, you have to know you have to know the song, you have to know the melody of the song. So, um, but it's not really it's not really hard. What you have to know is a, pro a melody and a progression. So let's say if I take um, the Aiko do like this, uh, it start with the with it start with the song. I know what you call yeah, da 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 da. So you just look for the melody. You understand? Look for the melody. Now I'm playing in a flat. Just that I'm using a capo. So because the majority of the you know, <laughs> um, I think as I, as I was starting, I, I saw you know the older people using cap capo. So I was like. <laughs> We we always we always always laughing since every time without a couple we, we they can't play you understand they can't play with it but I found out that using a couple as I grew up you know using a couple bring the high life feel because they had some free notes and majority of the high life song were built around the, the the shape of C you understand the the free notes if it's a down song a down song is very nice too in the key of G um, the gumba is very nice in the key of E so. Qual 2 is very nice in E flat, but with a capo using the C shape. Yeah, that's that. Because all those, those keys has, you know, some free, some free note, which adds some colors to the high life. You can get it without a capo. You can play the, all the, all the melodies without a capo, but using the capo bring, you know, some feel we, <laughs> that we, we have been hearing, you know, in the records since um, high life started. So, um, now you could know maybe the first song is the new chorus, as I said. So the melody is like that's the first melody. And now you look for the um, the chords involved. Now with qual qual is just the it's just two chords. You understand? So. Um, uh, it's just your second degree and your fourth degree, meaning your, um, your if you are, you are in C, uh, now I'm using the C shape, so meaning you use, if you are in C, this is, this is your third right, for me, then your five is this, right, 
So actually, an F shape, like if you insist, F bar. Now, if, if you are in E flat, meaning it's now E flat major. And the, and the me too is a, uh, I think G major or something, a G minor or something. Alright, so, um, but in, in uh, like the older people, the, what we have been listening to record, you know, for influencing from um, Kony Mo, influencing from um, the great, all the great, you know, the great guitarists who play this kind of, you know, tune. Um, even KJC, <laughs> name them, name them. They intend to use the, um, the, the relative minor and the relative major, you know, idea. So they will put with a me. Me is a minor chord, so it's relative major will be a G, it will be a soul, right? Yeah, so they will play um, the um, the E triad, eh, sorry, the me triad, and they will add the, its relative major on the bass, so which is a soul. So now you get something a chord like this. The same idea for the fa. The fa to uh, they will. They will turn it, you know. Now put the far on the bass, and it's relative minor as a triad. You understand? So, so if far, if I is a major, it's relative minor has to be a minor too. So <laughs> far, it's relative minor will be re, right? If you don't know the relative minor and the relative major chords, it's just they'll hit online just read about it it's very simple all right so they will they, they use um so maybe the far on the bass and the ray but they try way minor try it on the you know on top so it sounds like so that's the progression majority of the call goes like this That's that. In, uh, in some songs too, they, they just turn it, you know, they make the 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 the, um, the silver me come first before the foul vary. Yes, that. Cool. So now let's 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 get back to the I could do stuff. So the I know we're calling it. That's the melody. So now you just look for the bass lines um, with a chord, maybe. So it will just go like. So you can't even go. You can't even go. But you can't even make the um, the, the first chord be the far right. So. Oh. Uh. Anything works. I'm I'm not even getting it because I guess if I maybe I can use this over the for why it worked too. But what's on the, was on the record was um the fast at first. And to the other melody. So let me start again. So one, two, three. So in this case, I'm just you know playing the melody, the melody on top, and just playing the the progression. You understand? So. Ba da 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 on the four. Ba da 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 da. Ba 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 da ba da da. All what I'm trying to let you know is for you to playing the um the stretchy something else is not really anything hard. You just have to you know. Know the melody and the and the progression just so you understand. So that that was the first one. The second song is I could do. So my you know, my favorite song is in that on that the same I could do track. So 
It goes like. You know, the same progression, but you know, they are just, you know, <laughs> they are just, you know, adding a little, you know, lesson just to make it fun. So you can just go go and check that song out um, there. The Ico Dome from um, Canada, you understand? So another typical example that I'll use is um, um, the popular KJC, KJC Life, KJC City Life, the popular song, you know. <laughs> That one to you, like, it's the same idea. You just have to get the melody of the uh, of the song, and you just have to get the progression. So the so first song is um, so now you just look for the melody. Now you do some run. So the first the, 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 the first phrase is um, so one thing that you have to also know um, majority of them ends with the core, the, the core tone it, like maybe a, a tone inside the chord. So if you have a you get a, a melody that goes like uh, now it's on the it's an audio right and definitely the do falado so maybe the, the falado right. So if it's falado, so meaning you can play the fa right. If it's n on the fa, meaning um, the trial for fa is falado, and inside the chord to uh, the um, the fa over here to you, you get a do inside, right? Right. So definitely you go to this chord. Now it, this bar also ends with the. La, right? So if it's la, what chord would you use? Definitely to also be the fa because it's in it, like it's one of the chords tones in the fa. Understand? So. The same thing. The same thing. But um, it starts, the melody starts with the. So meaning definitely you can start with the mi chord, right? Right, you can start with this chord, so this this um this run is actually you run it on the you know the 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 far the far the the far on the far the far chord. That's the point. It's not really hard, you know. It's just two chords. It's just two chords, so you can. <laughs> it's it's not really hard to figure out. So. You should keep. You should. I start listening to songs, songs that you know, that that has this kind of you know this kind of changes. It's, and uh, as I said in the beginning, you can just check out you know call songs again, songs from um, KJC, uh, uh, Canados, Aikodo, um, and then Mengro K, um, Nana Two Four. You know, it's it's not really yet. One important thing, one one very important thing. Is a writer, you understand? Because there should be a, a, a rhythmic pattern with the writer that will make it, you know, interesting. Like how I'm playing, something like. That there is a lot of rhythm coming from the from the, from the writer, you know. And I've done a, a lesson on that, so I'll also put the link um, 
in the in the uh, for the the description below. You understand? So <laughs> because um, as I always say, her life is a redemptive thing. Is a redemptive thing, and majority of the redemptive that we hear on the her life records, um, if it's finger star picking, majority of them is from the you know the 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 right hand. You know that's the trick. From for the um, for the for the right hand, for, sorry, for the left hand, there's no, apart from getting the course, there's no much trick. There's, there's not, there's not many tricks there because, um, I'm just playing, um, to make this, this chord, this chord is popular everywhere, but to make it sound hard life, you know, I have to add some picking to it. Yeah, hard life picking to it, you understand? This chord is, is also a popular chord everywhere, but to make it sound alive, there should be a rhythm thing going on with it. Right hand, you understand? So I've explained this all in that chord, you know. Purchase it, invest, invest it in something that you know it will help you. It's not really, it's not really expensive, it's just, you know, <laughs> it's not really expensive. So you should try and invest in something that you know is, it's really useful and, you know, if you do that, it's, it's something that you, it will be yours. If you master it, getting knowledge if you, about this, if you get it, um, it's something that is yours. Nobody can take it away from you, you understand? And learning it the right way is the key. So I've explained everything because uh, majority of the hard life things came from, with the, um, came from the rhythms that was around, you know, on the traditional drums and all this. So. Especially the cowbell, you know, it, it's a useful thing in her life, and the maracas too. And that was the same idea that they use on the, on the, uh, on the, on the right hand, you know. So after getting the melody, let's say, and also getting the progression. Now you just have to just use the maraca style and just add the melody on top to it. So it will be something like. If you don't have a maraca style, I explained it to you my, on my finger style video. And also I have a lesson too on Quao. So just, excuse me, just go head on to the link and just purchase it and download it. It's something very, very, very useful. Okay, so let's go back to the main topic. Um, another another view too on the call is um, um, sometimes on the sechi. Now let me talk a little about the progression. Sometimes something the only changes that I've I've listening I've, I've like I've listened is um, is on the um, the esiwa esiwa yonku group um, which. Um, they could be, they are could be our yes. So they instead of uh, the normal this that we know, they added some um they do, they added a play a C major chord. Uh, sorry, uh, with the couple I talk is C major E flat. It's it's really not in this key, so but in different key. But they at the point they go something like Which is, you know, in a way new, you understand? So, after, if you, if you listen to the song, it, it starts off with a melody. You know, my son, it should have go something like. Which is not bad, it's the same melody. That, that's why I'm saying the melody is everything. You see, even if, as I didn't play once on the record, you see, it still sound, sound the same thing. But they choose to go, uh, they do a substitution with a fire. They rather went, a C, a, like the, the do major, you know. So, and went to the T, you know. The 
the back to the progress of the deal. So one thing, um, so the main moral lesson in this meaning, with even with the uh, with the with the four and five, maybe or maybe the with the four and three, you can also try and do some substitution in it. You can just try and do some reharmonization. It's, it's not bad. So um, as they did on on the um, on the on the Kubia Warrior song, and it's very very popular now. It's very 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 popular now. Um, even song like uh, song from Akwabwa, I think the words something like. You can check those songs as you know. Is they are they are they are you know they have some you know <laughs> some nice some nice feel with the you know the crowd or in such concept you understand so you can listen to a lot of aqua boy songs are in the crowd too so getting the crowd is it's not really you know far from getting the search because it's the same thing as I said so you can check songs from even Yamo's Yamo's side of you know side of playing qual uh, I mentioned aqua boy. Um, you can also check uh, uh, songs also too from uh, uh, from Nanampedu. Nanampedu also has some shoes of quality. too. But the main the main song to understand the city most is songs from KJC, um, KJC Alive, City Alive, uh, Kanados, Aikodo, Kobe Aware from uh, the Oyonko Asuga Group, and Mengro from. Nana to four, Mabo, both way Mabo from um, from Rexoma to the Rexoma side, the Mabo of both is and a typical example of the um, the the spiritual songs, you know, <laughs> in in Ghana we call it. Uh, so, so, sorry, they I I to my view they made it popular more because all their crazy songs is is that is songs in Kwao. There are songs are there are songs that are in Kwao. But in the medley way, making it a sechi, you understand? So Mabo Bofu Mabo is a is a typical example of um, the the sechi. The sechi. I think I think now the history says uh, it was uh, KJC who make it made it popular. But I think it was there before KJC. After Kwao Mensa brought the <laughs> brought the um, the Kwao idea the Kwao idea you know the the um the nyom crow and all this you know traditional yeah, traditional life group the kitty people you know this a lot of their songs are in the Kwao so it was the same idea that's where in the traditional you know that was that was in the um the churches the spiritual churches so definitely i'm sure kjc would have you know <laughs> Like uh, I, I think though I wasn't there, <laughs> but in my view, I think it just brought up that this idea from the Mium Crow and the and the um, and the spiritual churches, and did his own version of it and named it Sechi. And now you know it's a popular Sechi now. <laughs> you know it's the we think KJZ did it all. So that's all. That's all I have for you today. You just check out the songs that I mentioned so that you can understand the Sechi well. So until then. See you again this time. Yes, and we're best of a bit of a baby. What was it?